In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. John chapter 6, verses 30 through to 34. Therefore they said to him, What sign will you perform then, that we may see it and believe you? What works will you do? Our father ate the manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And Jesus said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. Lord, give us this bread always. In this scripture reading today, we have another reading. And I was thinking to myself after I read it, the church is a bit funny in its ways. We are in great Lent. We are supposed to be fasting and praying. The subject of food keeps on coming up. Why? Jesus had temptations in the desert, so why can't we have temptations about food? But this is more. And just food. Jesus, the bread of life. The people who are following Jesus wanted a sign. And they mentioned about our fathers ate the manna in the desert. Yes. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my Father, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. He's talking about himself who came down from heaven to give us, you, me, the whole world, the opportunity to have the bread of life. How many of you, when you go to the liturgy, go to church, receive the bread of life? People make excuses why they can't. Oh, I didn't fast. Ah, I haven't been to confession yet. Etc., etc. We are always making excuses, aren't we? Why we didn't do this or do that or follow Jesus. It's easier to follow the world in its darkness. But it's not easy to follow Christ in the light. How many of you even say to your friends, I went to church on Sunday? Yeah. Oh, goody two shoes, are you? Yeah. Skiting about going to church. What are you, a Christian or something? How many of you speak about that to our workmates, etc.? 
Well, I can't go to the football game today. I've got to go to church. How often have you heard that? Jesus is the bread of life. We need the bread of life. Always. Don't make excuses why you haven't received this. This great gift. As the Israelites were starving in the desert, and Moses called out to cry, God, and he gave them manna, food from heaven. The Jews thought it was Moses. No, it wasn't Moses. God the Father provided for his people. He will provide for you too if you call on him. You pray to him. When you pray, thank God for the opportunities he gives you, for the blessings he bestows upon you, and give him the glory every day. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>